Following the dismissal of the Supreme Court review on election petition number 52 of 2023 in the matter of Peter Nupiri challenging governor for Southern Highlands Province William Powie and the Electoral Commission of PNG, the decision was successfully handed down by Justice Anis at the Waigani Supreme Court in Port Moresby. A happy governor of the province held a press conference yesterday to address his people. Following this, a feedback from one of the local leader and corruption fighter Alex Awesa also agreed to what the governor William Poe said, which was to work together. For one, uh, on the outset I support the call, uh, whether he won rightfully or wrongfully, uh, Mr. Poe is already in the court seat, so we don't have much, we have only three, four years, uh, and so for the sake of the people, the poor innocent people of Mendy and certain others, and I agree with his uh, comments and support his uh, call. As an advocate who fights against corruption, he would like to see this minimized in the province and at the same time he wants to see the procurement process to be carried out fairly. I want uh, corruption to be minimized and, uh, and if, if possible eliminated so that, uh, so that uh, we can be seen to be doing the wishes of the people and I am willing to support and work in that, of, uh, in that type of atmosphere as long as we are doing something to stop uh, practices of uh, corruption. Although Awesa says he is willing to work with the leaders from a distance. To have implemented that, so I uh, would like to see audit cell introduced in the Treasury office uh, in some land so that uh, they can work together with uh, Kevin Pruno, the Treasurer, and make sure all payments are done properly, transparently, and without... Uh, without uh, putting this false claim. And we have a claim culture in Southern Ireland. It's been there for a long time, so uh, with this audit cell, I believe. Godwin Eki.